Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys three Daniel Fast breakfast recipes that I think you'll enjoy. So if you're interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. So these are our simple ingredients for what you need to make the vegan style steak, egg, and potatoes. So our ackee, which is a Jamaican fruit, it's a, like a savory fruit, is going to act as our eggs, okay? This is our egg substitute today. And then I love mushrooms. I feel like mushrooms are very savory as well. This is going to serve as like our meat or our steak today. Um, so I have these organic sliced mushrooms. And then I'm just using regular potatoes. I like the honey gold potatoes. So I'm gonna cut these up. They're really small and I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer, but if you want, you can put them under the oven at 425 with some olive oil and some seasonings. So you wanna make sure that you have your seasonings. If you watched my video on how to make the Daniel Fast sauce um, or how to make the sauce you know that you can um, have on different food items, then you would see that I have these leftover cut up bell peppers and onions from when I was making the sauce. So good thing it saved me time so I don't have to cut this up because it's already ready for me. And then I'm going to use my seasoning. So I'm going to be using onion powder, um, a little bit of seasoned salt, and then some black pepper. All right, so we are going to get started. I am going to cut up these honey gold potatoes and I'm going to throw them in the air fryer because they're gonna take the longest to cook, so I'm gonna get them ready first. Added my potatoes to the air fryer and I have added my seasoning. The good thing about the air fryer is that you do not have to use any oil. I did sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on it, but it's not necessary. And literally you can just get this air fryer up and running and then start working on your mushrooms. We're gonna do the mushrooms first and then we're going to add in the ackee last. So I'm just gonna put it on the French fry mode. That's for like my potatoes. Um, I'll say I guess 20 minutes and then I'll put it at 400 degrees and I'm gonna turn it on and then it should get going. So I have my olive oil in the pan right now. I'm just letting it heat up and then I am going to add um, my different spices to it. I only used half of the spices. I still have some more left over for another meal in the future. So this, like the, the time that I cut the spices is gonna last me for about three or four meals. All right, so it is starting to sizzle. And then once you saute it for a little bit, you're going to add in your mushrooms. But I just added a handful of mushrooms since I'm only doing one serving and I'm going to let this cook up together and then I'm going to add my seasonings to it so you definitely don't need a lot okay so I'm going to add my seasoning to it now the reason we're adding salt to the dish is because ackee is usually eaten with salt fish because it really has like a dull taste and steak and other meats are usually salty. So we're going to add a little salt to the dish, mix it all in, and I'm purposely allowing this to burn, so well not really burn, but I'm allowing um, it to get crispy because I want it to be a different texture against the ackee. So I'm allowing this to get crispy, but that's just my preference. If you don't want it to get crispy, then you can add water to it and cook the water down. It's up to you. This is just personally how I like to do it. Open the ackee with a can opener. It does have like a water in here, so you wanna pour that out and drain it. 
So you're going to drain your ackee and you can rinse it. I'm going to rinse it to clean it. Ackee is enough for like two or three servings. It's just me. I'm probably going to only put half of this in here. I am just going to mix this in. I had to lower my heat so it's going to heat up a little bit and then I am going to cook it. You don't have to mix it in like I did. Um, you can eat them separately, but I am just deciding to mix everything in together and then have my potatoes on the side. Okay, so as you can see it's warming up. You want to cook this down for about four to five minutes. Yes, this looks good. Doesn't it look like steak and eggs? Let's check on our potatoes really quick. It's getting pretty brown, so I'm probably going to take this out within one to two minutes. So the ackee is pretty much already cooked when it comes in the can. Basically what you're doing is you're just warming it up and you're seasoning it. All right guys, so I am going to get my plate and I'm going to plate. So this meal literally just took me about 15 minutes to make. This is the finished result. This is my hearty Daniel Fast breakfast. When you make a breakfast like this for the Daniel Fast, then you can probably just skip lunch and use that lunch time to spend more time with the Lord. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you try this out. Let me know in the comment section if it was yummy, if you liked it, what you thought. Um, but let's get on to the next recipe. Today we are doing one of my favorites. We are doing old fashioned oatmeal. I have 100% whole grain oats. So what I'm gonna be doing is cutting up some bananas, cutting up some apples, um, and then throwing some raisins in there. You can put all types of fruits, whatever fruits you wanna put. Some people put strawberries, some people put blueberries, but today I just feel like having bananas and apples. I am going to be seasoning it with some ground cinnamon, and then I'm also going to be using just a dash of salt and that's what I'm gonna do so right now I'm gonna get started by just cutting up my bananas and apples and getting them prepared for my oatmeal I cut my apples and bananas into bite-sized pieces I'm using an entire apple but my apple was pretty small I used half of a banana and a handful of raisins so I'm going to boil some water and I'm gonna throw in the apples first because they take longer to cook. And then I am going to put in the raisins next so it can really get those juices in there and then I will do the bananas last. So after you get your water boiling, you are going to add your oatmeal in there. I have about like two cups of water and I am just going to add my oatmeal to my liking. The more you add oatmeal, the more thick it will be and the less oatmeal you add, the more watery it will be. So just use your discernment based on your own preferences. It's my oatmeal, I'm gonna mix it all up and once it starts to cook, I'm gonna start adding my fruits. So if you see that the bubbles are rising, then you just wanna lower the heat so that it does not overflow or just take it off the heat for a little bit and then put it back on. You just want to mix it up. I have it on a medium low setting right now. And I am just allowing this to simmer and thicken up before I add the fruits to it. Well, my oatmeal is getting nice and thick, so I'm going to add the apples to it now. Okay, my apples are looking good. I'm gonna mix these apples in. And I'm going to now start adding my seasoning. So I'm going to add my cinnamon and just a little bit of salt. And add a little bit of salt. And you just wanna mix it all up. And after the apples start to get a little soft, 
you want to add in your raisins down I want to share this with you guys so I'm gonna have this as a side dish so on the Daniel fast you can have Ezekiel bread so basically this Ezekiel bread is flourless it's sprouted grain bread so it's wheat barley beans lentils all the good stuff that you can eat can't believe it's like <laughs> Ezekiel from the Bible so you can have this bread so I'm going to toast a slice of this bread um, and I'm going to put some peanut butter on it just to have on the side with my oatmeal. Got my raisins in here. I'm going to mix those in. Nice and yummy. Now at this point, if you want to add more water to your oatmeal, you can. If you feel like it's you know, a little too thick, but if you like it this thick, then you can leave it just like that. So I am going to add my bananas last. I have all my bananas in there and this is looking good. So you wanna season it um, to your liking. So make sure you taste your food to make sure that you don't have to add anything to it. If you have nutmeg, you can add nutmeg to it um, and all that good stuff. So I'm just mixing it up. I have my heat on low and I'm just letting it warm up. I'm letting the um, bananas get a little bit warm and then it'll be ready. All right guys, here is the finished result for the second breakfast option. I have my peanut butter toast and some amazing oatmeal. That looks so good, I cannot wait to dig in. I hope you try this recipe. Let me know how it turns out. Hey guys, so today we're making a quick and easy Daniel Fast breakfast recipe. So I have a lot of fruits saved um, just from the past few months. So I'm going to be using some frozen blueberries, some frozen strawberries. Um, I also have some frozen pineapple that I'm going to be cutting up. Um, I'm using half a fresh banana. So what I like to do is I like to use part frozen ingredients and then also part creamy raw ingredients to add that creaminess into it. So I'm using half of this banana and then I'm going to be using this avocado. This fresh avocado is really going to add that creaminess and really make your smoothie really smooth. So yeah, that's just a tip for you guys. If you feel like your smoothie comes out like too icy or too, you know, liquidy, you want to make sure that you're balancing out your ingredients. Okay. Now, since we're on the Daniel Fast, we can't use any sugars. So if you feel like your smoothie tastes a little bland or it's missing something, then you can add a little zing. You can add, you know, some lemon juice or some lime juice to kind of add a kick to it. And then also I wanted to let you guys know that you are allowed to drink almond milk or soy milk during the Daniel Fast. You just can't have any dairy. So soy milk or almond milk is allowed. So I'm going to be using some almond milk as my base and I am going to be blending in my ninja today. So literally I'm just gonna throw everything in there into bite-sized pieces. I have my ingredients in there. As you can see I have blueberries and strawberries at the bottom. I have some banana, pineapple, and I have my avocado. So especially since you have the avocado in there, you wanna add some lemon juice so that it doesn't lose its color. So I am just going to squeeze a little bit of a lemon and then you're gonna add your soy milk or your almond milk or your water, but you're gonna start you know, with just a little bit and then you can add more as you go if you feel like it's necessary. All right, so I have filled up my milk in here. I put it about one third or one fourth of the way and then I am going to start blending. Now, I personally don't like to add ice to my smoothie unless it's completely necessary and I feel like since the fruits are already frozen, they don't need any ice. But if it is necessary, then I will add in more ice after. So I'm going to start blending. I'm going to press number three. I'm going to add in a lot of more strawberries just because I want the color to be more pink. So you can adjust it to however you desire and taste it while you're making it. So I'm going to add some more strawberries to mine. I'm going to add in this big chunk of strawberries right here. That should be good. So 
So this is how it is looking. So what you can do is you can taste it and mix it up and you can add some more lemon juice, lime juice, whatever you think it needs according to how it tastes. I'm gonna add some lime juice to it. I can definitely taste how smooth, like it tastes really smooth because of the avocado and the banana. But I just want some juiciness, some more juiciness to it, some more of the lemon and some more of the lime. You can add whatever fruits you want to your smoothie. You can also add seasonings. You can add cinnamon to it, nutmeg. It's definitely up to you. Okay, so I have my cup here. I'm gonna pour out my smoothie into my cup. That looks good. Okay, so I added some lime and some lemon to it just to slice and I topped it off with some strawberries. So you can literally add whatever your favorite fruits are. You can top it off with some blueberries, but this is the final result and this is gonna be my breakfast for this morning. Mm -hmm.